My name is Graham Thomas. I am the Business Development Director for Kingsbury in the UK. You are receiving this video presentation as I would like to introduce the Zimmerman FZH machines. This range has been designed and developed with high speed aluminium metal removal rates in mind for aerospace structural components. The aim is to give you a brief introduction into the concept and understand what Zimmerman and Kingsbury could offer your business. As mentioned, the horizontal series from Zimmerman is designed for the purpose of machining large structural aerospace components. The innovative pallet design forming an integral part of the structural rigidity of the machine itself. As a consequence, the pallet wall and machine column being mounted to a common base, the Zimmerman horizontal machines do not require bespoke foundations to complete structural integrity. Using animated CGI sequences, we can take a detailed look at the machine design and clever construction. The column provides for all three linear axes of movement in the tool. As the door opens, we can see the powerful M3 ABC head inside a working area that has been carefully designed to facilitate chip, flow and particle extraction. Removing the back panel allows us to take a closer look at the column design. The guide carriage is supported by two sets of linear rails displaced vertically and is driven by two separate ball screws on each side of the column. In this next sequence we can see the Zimmerman column depicted on the left and the more typical design on the right. As the tool advances in the z-axis the relationship with the column structure never varies. This is not the case on the right. The further the tool advances the more significant the reduction in structural integrity. The machine is designed with three rotary axes in the head, the A axis with plus minus 110 degrees, the C axis with plus minus 225 degrees of movement, and the all important patented B axis. In this sequence it's important to notice the rotations of the head in the B axis. The additional arc of movement at plus minus 14 degrees eliminates the poling associated with two axis machining. We designed this panel to allow us to benchmark the cycle time benefits of finishing these pockets with both two and three axis processes. Each pocket differs in size and depth, but the speeds and feeds utilised in both methods are the same. The additional movement of the B axis allows us to eliminate the poling of the C axis as each corner radii is navigated. The deeper the pocket and the shorter the pocket flank, the greater the proportion of lost time due to C-axis poling. The material utilised during the trial was Aerostructure Grade 710 Aluminium. During the roughing cycle we utilised a 25mm diameter 3 flute cutter, rotating at 29,000 rpm, operating at a feed rate of 17,400 mm per minute, yielding an effective chip removal rate of 13.1 litres per minute, comparable with the very best on the market. The cycle times needed to carry out the finishing operations was substantially quicker with the ABC head, with improvements seen from 9 to 25% depending on pocket depth and length. The surface finish achieved was outstanding. Our company has had the privilege and good fortune to be working with some of the most accomplished machine tool companies on the planet a position that we have enjoyed for many decades. And during that time, we have witnessed the launch of many new machine platforms. But rarely have we seen the joined up thinking that has gone into the development of the new horizontal range from Zimmerman. From the assembly of the original design team to a detailed analysis of what it was that our competition were up to. And then a laser-like focus on bringing technical advantage to the platform itself. And these advantages are compelling. Machine does not require a bespoke foundation. In essence, the pallet wall 
and the machine column itself are united by a common base. This is not the same in some of our competition where they use the civil engineering of the foundation itself to bring structural rigidity to the machine and there's a cost associated with that. The pallet size and the x-axis travel are scalable. This is another important feature. But many of our competition will lift the pallet where the thin section of the pallet becomes the cross section that resists the bending moment. By rotating the pallet and only ever lifting it when it's in the vertical plane, this cross section becomes the one that resists the bending moment. This allows us to increase the size of the pallet and therefore the size of the x-axis and ultimately the size of parts that can be produced within the machine platform. The column design, maintaining structural rigidity, another important point. On the right hand side of the screen you'll see this is my z-axis in its retracted position, furthermost away from the part. And as I move across here you can see as we advance in the z-axis, stro the structural rigidity of the machine is maintained in that we're always keeping the vertical support to the column itself. The further we go into the part, the stiffer the machine becomes, a unique uh, advantage on the Zimmerman machine. Head dexterity, another important feature. We do not need to use angled heads to get to the periphery of the part. With the A-axis rotation of plus minus 110 degrees and the C-axis of plus minus 225, there's nowhere that we can't get to on the periphery of the part. No need for angled heads, no need for that complexity. The cycle time advantage of pocket milling. You saw this in the video. Effectively, we have plus minus 14 degrees of rotation on the B-axis head. And this allows us to avoid the polling associated with a C-axis move when we're navigating around the radii in the corners of these pockets. The deeper the pocket, the shorter its length, the greater the advantage. And you can see on the slide here, we've indicated a 25% saving on the smaller pockets to a 9% on the larger. But it's important to note, that's in comparison to our own head, our own two-axis head, which already has a very fast C-axis. So against our competition, these advantages are even greater. Simple automation. The design of the machine itself allows for the very easy automation of a solution. The pallets can move in on a rail system as shown in this mock-up here. We can bring pallets in, load the machine, unload, and then take them on their journey. Simple way to automate. So given all of these advantages, we feel that the FZH series from Zimmerman delivers a price performance ratio that is second to none. Our team are keen to talk to you about this to see how we can further your interest and I'd just like to thank you for your attention.